So there's a lot of media coverage at the moment of the Insulate Britain campaign, and that's great on the one hand, but on the other hand, it seems to have all focused on, oh, disrupted my Bentley getting round the M25 yesterday, and so little focus on what it is that Insulate Britain are actually asking for. But let's talk about that. It's actually very simple what they're asking for. They're asking for the government to institute a programme of insulating homes around the UK, and it's it's actually kind of the mildest of demands because this is already a Conservative Party manifesto pledge to do this. It, less than two years ago, Boris Johnson had promised £9 billion to do exactly this, to insulate homes around Britain. 15% of UK carbon emissions are related to home heating. And that's actually much higher than in a lot of other Western countries. And that's in large part because we have a lot of old housing stock in the UK, lots and lots of historic old buildings and people want to preserve them and they don't want to just knock them down and they need to be fitted out with better insulation and Im improvements made so that they are more energy efficient and in a lot of cases we could halve or even more than halve the amount of energy which these homes actually require to keep them warm through the winter. Now is the best time to do it. Now is the best time to do it for a couple of reasons. Firstly, because there is an economic slump which has been caused by the pandemic, or rather Boris Johnson's complete mishandling of the pandemic and Brexit, or sorry, Boris Johnson's complete mishandling of Brexit and all the other things that are going on right now. Bringing this in would create loads and loads of new jobs and it would be a great way of helping getting the economy going and creating work for people. The sooner we do it, the sooner we start to save those carbon emissions and it would also save on home bills. And we know at the moment people who are struggling economically would benefit from having their home heating bills reduced. We're also on the brink of a fuel crisis. So there's another reason why it might not be a bad idea to improve our efficiency in terms of how much fuel we're using around the UK. There is every reason to do it now. And also the climate change is happening now. The climate issue is now. The sooner we do it, the better. And these homes, are not going to disappear in the next 50 years. They're not going to even disappear in the next 70 or 100 years in a lot of cases. With appliances, with cars, things like that, we might go, well, are we going to are we going to actually just replace the whole thing? But but with homes, we're not. These homes are still going to be here, so we have to do it at some point. And now it's really as good a time as any. And in, especially given that right now, Boris is at the climate summit, boldly claiming that he's the greenest thing since green eggs and ham. And insisting that it's easy and it's important and blah 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 and it's, it's not easy the green situation is difficult we've got we need complicated solutions to really complicated problems but this bit is easy there are already millions and millions of homes here and around the world that have done this sort of thing we know exactly how to do it we know what works and what doesn't and all we need to do is actually roll our sleeves up and get on with it the government just needs to provide that funding and it would be so much easier to do that if we could have the media focusing on what the issue is and why this very simple, very, very positive, very helpful message that Insulate Britain are sending out. It would be brilliant if the media would focus on that, not just instead of focusing on who got disrupted on the M25, but they could actually focus on that before they had to disrupt the M25. Like the issue of why are they disrupting the M25 comes down to because the media won't report on what they're asking for otherwise. And it also comes down to because the government are not sticking to the simple promises that they have already made while they wander around claiming to be the world's most green, most wonderful, most environmentally concerned group of people. So that's the answer to why the M25 is blocked up because simple things that just have no disadvantages attached to them that have already been promised are not being done and not being reported on.